here it is, a game that I dropped 5 years ago, I finally picked it back up, and it's fucking fire. I personally get unexplainable pleasure from hard platformers like Celeste and getting over it, but on top of them will forever be Rain World. This is a difficult, really fucking difficult survival platformer. We all know survival games kinda suck, but Rain World is one of the rare exceptions. In this game you play as the slug cat, the, this, this thing. And the game gives you an insane tutorial on how to eat and how to jump. Y yeah, that's that's it. The main gimmick of the game is that you have limited time to eat and explore around the map, and then get back to safety before a light rain happens. While running around, you can stumble upon this. This is a lizard, one of the enemies of the game, and the rain world is absolutely jam-packed with unique and goofy creatures. There's a noodle fly, a vulture, a vulture that can quickscope, a drop wick who just drops at you, this thing, and this fucking thing. You don't get too much tools to fight back from predators. On the ground you can find a rock and a spear, and that's kinda all you get to defend yourself. There's a cool combo you can do with the rock and spear though. So, a lizard's head is actually armored, and you can toss a rock at him to reveal his vulnerable point and spear him after. The fighting in this game is almost as simple as fighting in Hollow Knight. You get very little tools, and the game doesn't overwhelm you with them. But if you want to get complicated, here you go. Read this wiki page. My favorite item of this game is this grapple worm. You use it as a traversal tool, and it's insane. I love it, look at me go. There's also a tribe of monkeys in this game. I know, Uga Booga. And you can trade with those monkeys for epic stuff like explosives, sources of light, and a bunch of other stuff. These monkeys have topped my heart with their amazing AI and animation. The AI and the procedural animation are this game's strongest, best points. Rainworld's creatures look alive. Animals in real life also make mistakes. No one is perfect, and that is what makes the gameplay loop in Rain World fun and not repetitive. There is a bunch of different regions in this game, and those are just as unique as the creatures of Rain World. There is a drainage system, a wasteland, an abandoned factory, and this one. We don't talk about this one. My favorite region of this game is Chimney Canopy. This is without a doubt the most nutty, chaotic swarm of enemies I ever saw spawn naturally in any game, and it's fun as hell to kill all of them. There is also an extremely unnecessarily complicated movement system in this game, and the game tells you nothing about it. It's rewarding as hell to find them out yourself, because you will be able to traverse the land quicker, and you can also piece these movements basically infinitely. Rain World kind of achieves the impossible by making it fun no matter what happens. The AI of enemies makes every single cycle unpredictable and different from the rest. Video Cult made a replayable Metroidvania, which I never expected to see. Also, the music of the this game is beautiful, like listen to this. The creators of this game let their flood of thoughts into this game, making a beautiful, unseen experience. Rain World doesn't sit in the same pool as other survival games, it has its own personality. You can toss a grenade into a wall to send yourself flying. It's definitely worth checking out, but don't shame yourself if you drop it. Rain World is a unique ass experience that not everybody will understand. Oh, and by the way, a cool DLC is coming out in 3 months and it's very packed up with plenty of stuff and I have the tools to poke this DLC as soon as possible. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, I want to see numbers grow.